Wagadugu is on alert as coroners remove a body, a victim of a hotel assault that killed two dozen people. Security forces retook the hotel Saturday, where just a day earlier, witnesses say gunmen with AK-47 assault rifles burst inside and fired randomly. Al-Qaeda has claimed responsibility. This survivor hid in a room with colleagues and says they were frightened even when French and American forces came to their rescue. They had to force some of the doors open, so we were a little distrustful at first. We stayed in our rooms and we were very, very afraid during that time. We really feared that moment when they came to free us. Officials say the victims were from at least 18 different countries. The splendid hotel, along with a nearby restaurant, were popular with Westerners and French soldiers. The French government announced Saturday that two French citizens were among the dead. Further details of the victims are not yet known. The brutal attack marks an expansion of operations for Islamist militants in West Africa, echoing the growth of Islamic State in the Middle East.